Alright, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, uh, whatever it is, wherever you are, hope you're having a good one, and uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, tonight we will be tying a variation on a, it's what you call a red and partridge, it's a bit of a spin-off variation on the orange and partridge, uh, wet fly or soft hackle. Uh, they originate in the north counties of uh, England, and yeah, it's a bit of a play around, a bit of a variation. Uh, I got a trip coming up, and a mate said red soft tackles was the way to go. So here we are. Uh, yeah, pretty simple. We're just using a red thread uh, for the body. Red super fine dubbing from Semperfly. Uh, just put a little bit of a uh, body in there. Uh, partridge uh, for the soft tackle, and just red thread again in the head. And I am just using the Semperfly. Uh, classic waxed thread in 18 aught. So nice vibrant red colour to it. And they have been tying these in uh, 14s and 18s. Uh, the 18s are on a TMC 200R hook, and the uh, 14s are on a uh, Kamasan B170. Uh, so that's the 14 there, it's got that more. A straight shank, whereas the 200R from Tameco, more of a bend in it. I like them both. Uh, they look like they're going to be fun to fish, and uh, yeah, but we'll crack into it. Hopefully, you enjoy it, and we'll see how we go. Cheers. Alrighty, into it. Now I'm going to use the size 14 hook, the B170 from Kamasan, for uh, the filming of this. Uh, just a bit easier. Um, but. Yeah, we'll start off We're just getting that thread base in as we do normally. And just nice touching wraps. Touching wraps, sorry, it's getting late here. And I'm using again that red Semperfly Classic Wax thread in 18 Autumn Red. And we just bring that back until we're probably in the ballpark about an eye away from the bend. Let's get that out of your way. Unlike other flies, we're going to keep that tag end. And we just want to build up our body. And you like to give it a bit of a taper. Let's give it that nice, sort of rounded, buggy look. So I'll wrap it forward, wrap it back part of the way, then wrap it back up. And just until you start getting that little sort of a tapered body and just build it up. That'll do the trick. Alright, as I said, unlike uh, other flies where we get rid of that tag end, uh, we are going to use the uh, tag to make our ribbing. What I'm going to do for that, get the old trusty black sharpie and you just want to run it across. Uh, that thread. Let's go both sides and we'll uh, get everything it needs to on there. And then as you would with uh, any other uh, ribbing material, you'll just wrap that around it. And apologies, I'm just trying not to hit the camera here. And yeah, we'll just build that up. And just keep on going. And just try to keep it as evenly spaced as you can. It just wants to sit into little gaps in the thread, which can be a nuisance, but I like the idea of that ripping on them. Just gives it that segmented body. And you just keep going forward. Keep going. It's a little bit uh, poorly spaced, but you get the idea. And then just tie it off. And snip it away. Alright, you know, this next part's optional. You don't have to do it, but for the sake of demonstrating, I will. Uh, I'll be using the No Tack UV resin from Semperfly. You just want to get a very, very little bit on the uh, 
into your bodkin. And I'm just going to spread that over the body. Okay, and don't have to do it. Uh, traditional patterns being as old as they are, obviously uh, didn't use it, but it does give your fly a little bit of uh, protection from getting chewed up too quickly. And this body you can use uh, floss for it as well, uh, which makes a great body too. Uh, I've got a trip soon, I'm just trying to smash out as many as I can, so just doing the thread body uh, works very well. And just get that, make sure it's nice and even. happy with it. Take your UV torch and uh, I've never used these for the camera before so hopefully it doesn't muck it up too much but that looks alright and just give it a, a few seconds on each side to uh, cure. I really like the Simba fly resin. Uh, I find it uh, doesn't get too tacky. Some of the other ones can but I'm a big fan of this one. Just make sure you get all sides of it so it cures nicely. Again, these are also known as the North County Spider Pattern. It's a wet fly pattern. And you can swing them or... Uh, the mate I was talking about, uh, he's just fishing them as a dropper off behind another uh, heavy nymph. So. Um, Quite looking forward to trying both methods uh, where I'm going and seeing how it goes but we'll move on to that little bit of dubbing all right uh, we're going to be using some of the uh, super fine uh, dubbing from Semperfly yeah, it comes in a handy little pack like that or you can get in individual packs too now uh, you really don't need much of it this is just just a little bit I like a little ball of it behind the um, a hackle. But you're just going to build up the smallest of uh, it's the smallest little body there. And as always, you can always put more on if you don't have enough in the first um, the first little crack at it. But I'm pretty happy with that. Nice and simple. Just gives it a bit more body. Next up is the hackle. Alright, we're using partridge. That's where it gets its name from. Um, to prepare it, prepare it. I've just taken off uh, the bottom side of the hackle there. So if you look at it, how it's got that natural curve. I have that curve facing the fly between me and it. And I just want to get rid of that bottom part. And then we'll tie it in. Uh, by that end bit there. Let's get it caught in. It's a bit funny sometimes, but as long as it's caught in, it's nice and secure. Uh, you can then just snip that a little bit away. And I will always use hackle pliers for these ones, they're a bit fiddly. And uh, the old uh, big fingers get in the way sometimes. But the key thing to remember with these is they've got a very minimal amount of hackle. Uh, you only want, actually I could probably just get away with one wrap on this one, that's laid out quite nicely. I'm just going to bring that up in between and just secure that hackle in there. From there we can snip away the extra stuff, try not to cut off the uh, few hackle fibres you've got there. Yeah, if there's one more it can just get secured in when you tie it off. Just a couple wraps. 
and then the old whip finish. They're a really simple fly, but yeah, traditionally they don't have a lot of uh, hackle. It's just very sparse. It's like a little fluttering caddis or any other hatching insect just in the water film or drifting along. Alrighty, there we go. Red and partridge. A variation thereof. Super simple pattern. Um, and Kane, one of the main things, I've mentioned it already, but don't go too hard out on the hackle. You only need a very little bit, um, at least if you're tying them to uh, look traditional. Uh, that red thread for the body, the uh, classic wax thread from Semperfly, and I've just used the 18 walk because I'm using smaller flies. Uh, and then with the black um, marker uh, for the ribbing, a little bit of super fine dubbing, your partridge hackle, and you're away laughing. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy it, hope you have fun tying them. Uh, as always, if you're of the inclination to uh, post on social media, I'd love to see what you're doing, so feel free to tag me in it. Uh, otherwise, happy tying. Hope you have fun and we'll see you next time. Cheers.